Aha! Finally! You guys can't get rid of me. I'm everywhere now. <laughs> bark, bark, I'm a dog. See that? Fire Shadow Claw or whatever? <laughs> You're not in any of these teams. I carry everyone. My lead is the best. Bella Dion who? Who needs healing if you kill him? <laughs> Hello, and, and welcome, welcome to Free to Play Guide, Guide to, to Rift, Rift Beasts. Beasts. Totally thought of that the right now story. and not later in the video. <laughs> Special thanks to the chat on our Twitch streams on Wednesday and Fridays for actually coming up with the idea for this one. You're probably never gonna hear us say this again, but Aragar will be on every team of this. So if you don't have an Aragar, well. It's time to get one from the ancient coin shop. Mm -hmm. And that's partially our fault because I think we put him pretty low on the priority list for the, yeah, roll the footage. And also brings him some damage, but wait, why is he number two? What about Aragar? Aragar's not. He's not even a runner. Well, we should put both of them in number three. Yeah, both can be in number three. That's the clue. Wow. Shadow Claw and him. You know, that rivalry is always going He's on. He's always leaving first. Air guy's yeah. stuck in the shop. They, they hate He's such an eligible bachelor and nobody's picking him. Okay, let's move on. So the script says, talk about how each of the elements wants you to have frequent access to certain <laughs> mechanics for success. So let's talk about that. We recommend you to have Ergar, Mav, and Crow on practically every team. They bring a lot of different things like damage, sustain, cooldown reduction, speed buff, uh, and I know what you're thinking. Maybe Mav doesn't work on the fire beast. You're getting ahead of us and we'll get to it. And yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> and because all three of them are going to be in every single team that we recommend today, we wanna to make sure that we get those rune recommendations out of the way immediately. So let's start with Aragar. Aragar, we recommend having attack, crit damage, attack on fight runes so that he can help contribute damage in multiple ways, both in his own skills and by boosting the attack of his team. If possible. If possible. Otherwise, just focus on violent because he's kind of got long cooldowns. For Mav, you want the classic support build. Speed, HP, HP, and also if you can add fight runes, you'll get higher score. If not, violence also great, even broken. Anything works with this guy. And lastly, there's Crow, who you can just put on Violent or Rage, whichever one you have more consistent access to. And if you want more details on how to rune him properly, we actually have a video on how to rune Crow on the channel. And if you're early game, remember, any of these guys can also be runed on Fatal for the damage dealers, Ergar and Crow. And Mav can just be on Swift, Energy, anything. Remember, he has to be the last one to move on the team so he can reset the cooldowns of everyone and they have their best skills available. We'll start off with the Fire Rift Beast who wants you to have frequent access to AoE attacks. So you should be prepared to have a couple redundancies on the team. Yeah, because if you don't have enough AoE attacks, there'll be one turn that those little minions will be up there and they'll explode in your face. So having three AoE attackers is very recommended over here. For our team recommendation, we're going to have the Water Homunculus in the front alongside Mav. In the back line, you'll have Lapis, Sigmaris, Crow, and Rogue. And I know what you're thinking. This is a wind monster. It won't work. Roll the footage. It did work. Look at this. And he's missing two runes. Slot two and six. Ha <laughs> ha. And yeah, the water kung fu girl is replacing Lapis. But yeah, you should put runes awesome. on him. You should put some runes. You can also add some flex picks of monsters that hit AOE and our water like Beth, Poseidon, and obviously the water twins, Sabrina and Talia, are great everywhere here that it's not wind. Next up, we got the Water Rift Beast who wants you to have frequent access to turn cycling. So, turn that turn, turn side, turn. I've done this joke a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, in this place, Mav is going to be especially good, and you can also use Bernard, the Wind Griffin. His speed buff is going to be amazing, and a tech bar increase. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it. And a tech bar <laughs> increase. Both of those are actually in the front line of the team that we're recommending, along with Mina in the back with Theo, Crow, and... You forgot about Aragon. He's the Air big God. monster of the video. <laughs> By the way, I know the name of the video now. What is the name of the video? Free to play, Guide oh. to Rift Beasts. It was right there. Let's say it again. Okay. Hello, and, and welcome, welcome to... to Since this boss is water, Naomi. The Water Twins, and also Harlsberg. How do you? <laughs> Last one? clean Harlsberg. You know, the Barbaric King, that guy that gives branding speed and buff. attack buff and speed buff. He's incredible here. And he's free to play, by the way. They're free to, free play. to play. 
by the way. Talking about uh, tag buffs, Chasun is also used in the front line here if you don't want to use Bernard or Mom. Wind has a very simple mechanic on paper, but in application it ends up being one of the harder dungeons to clear. It's healing! And also, you can't use the water twins here, so... <laughs> Gonna be a little bit tough. So we're gonna have to get a little creative. On the front line, you'll want Math and Colleen to bring that attack buff and heal. And in the back line, Ergar will also be a source of sustain, the vampiric buff thing, attack buff, and the damage dealers will be Rauk, Crow, and Belgir. Remembering that you have three ways of reducing cooldowns right here that will keep your heals all the time so it can survive through all the waves. For your flex picks, you can also include things like Belladion and Colleen for more frequent heals. Verd does turn cycling and he heals himself a little bit on his first skill. And if you happen to have something like a Perna or a Laika, they're right at home here because Perna is going to passively heal your whole team by 10% every time she takes a turn. And Laika now has passive healing on his first skill. <laughs> like, supposedly, multi-hits don't work very well here. First time. Let's just single hit. <laughs> but the Water Twins have something else to say about that. The front line for this team will be the same, with Mav bringing in some tankiness, cooldown reduction, and Colleen bringing in the heals and the main source of attack buff. In the back line, Naomi, Raok, Ergar, and Crow will be your main sources of damage with a secondary attack buff to keep your team very consistent. The 2022 Sigmar assist is an excellent flex pick if you'd rather have her here as a burst damage dealer. Like we said at the top of this one, the Water Twins are excellent despite the claim that multi-hits don't work as well. They do, but just if you're Talia and Sabrina. Then Perno's back again for another flex pick choice and Brandia. If you don't have the better version that's free to play called Crow. Finally, there's Dark, which is the inverse of the light one in more ways than just one because it wants you to bring multi-hits. The boss will only let one of the souls that he imprisons go if you give that certain amount of multi-hits. So you want to break that as fast as possible and you want to bring enough people so your team can roll with only five units instead of six. So with that said, Zhang Fei and Colleen are both excellent frontliners because Zhang Fei hits three times on his first skill, Colleen hits twice but has the option to hit for three too, uh, and if one of them gets locked away, you still have access to the other one's heals. In the front line will be Zhang Fei or Colleen alongside Math. In the back line, Ergar, Raok, Crow, and Naomi will do all the damage. Again, if you got twins, bring them here. But this time Shine is invited. Should we do an outro? Uh, See ya! That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs>